Hello everyone and welcome to DIY Ideas. I want to show you this yarn and this project. I'm so amazed by it. Look at that wonderful color that we have. So today we're going to make a really cuddly scarf out of this yarn and stay tuned to see how you can do exactly this and what you need for it. Welcome! Today we have the Essentials Alpaca Twist Chunky from Rico Design. It's 50 grams, 65 meters, and it's 50% alpaca wool, 35% acrylic, and 15% wool. It's for a 6mm crochet hook, and I'll be using my 6mm one. I hope you can see it. And if you want this color, it's the number 12. I am so happy to have it in front of you today and I'm really excited to use it. So let's remove the label and we can pull the middle out and get started right away. So to get the length that I would want, I need three balls of yarn. You can do more or less. And let's get started. Here's the beginning. I'm gonna move this out of the way just so it's a bit more neat in the background. And we're gonna do an even number of chains. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. I think this is a nice width. And we're gonna do twenty total. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna leave the first three out. That's going to be the height of our row. So into the fourth, we go in with a yarn over and we do just a chain into it. So this way we get this little loopy section here. So the chains that we basically just connected with a new chain. Then what we're going to do is skip this chain here on the bottom and then go through the next one and again do a chain or actually a single and a chain this time. And then we're gonna leave a chain out again and do a single there. And then another chain. And basically all we're gonna keep doing is repeat this. So single and chain. And make sure you always skip a chain on the bottom when you do one on top. So you see, I always leave one out on the bottom and do one on the top and in between is always the single. So we're about halfway. I'm going to do a bit more just so we're done with this row and you can see how we can continue. And if you skip everything the way you should, then you should be able to arrive to the one before last, or actually the last chain, and that's how you know everything went well. This is what it looks like for now. It's still pretty small, so we're gonna keep working. We're gonna do two chains for the height and turn. Okay, and then we're always gonna go around these chains that we did in the last row. And we're gonna do a single there and then a chain above the existing single. And we're basically just switching up the, um, the order, but we're doing the same thing. So it's again, single, chain, single, all the way till the end of the row. done with row number two. And 
And here are the chains we started with. So there we do one single and then we can start a new row already. So this is what we have for now. These are two rows that we have done and we're going to do a bit more in the exact same manner. And you can see this pattern is pretty simple, but it does yield a wonderful and neat result. So we did two chains and that means that we're doing a single after that. And then we're going to keep doing chain, single chain till the end of the row. About halfway done. And one more time, single and chain and the very last single around the chains we started the last row with. And this is what we have. So now we're going to keep going. So again, two chains is how you always start a new row. And then you do singles and chains all the way. So you can see why this is beginner friendly and still looks amazing in the end. Chain, single, chain and another single and we're pretty much done. I'll be back with an update. Here I am a while later, not that long later, um, and you can see what I have. So I'm done with um, ball of yarn number one. I'm going to do two more so that I reach my length, but I wanted to show you the texture of the yarn itself so you can see what it looks like. And all that we've done are singles and chains, and you can see how lovely this looks. So I'm going to do a bit more and then I'll be back when I'm done. Welcome back. So you're going to laugh, but this is all that I have. And I'm so happy I was able to finish this very last row. So I'm going to pull this out, tighten a little bit, weave it in. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So the length here is about 140 centimeters, which is what I wanted. I think that's a really nice scarf length. And yeah. This is the color and the texture as well. So when I wear it, it's going to be kind of ruffled like this. And I think it looks really, really good already. I'm really excited for this. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comment section of the yarn, of the pattern itself. Um, if you have any suggestions or ideas for future projects, feel free to let me know what you think as well. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you in our next project. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye.